Sorry, guys. Give me just a sec. I'm going to mess around with this. Hi, everybody. Can you hear me? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. Awesome. Good to see you guys' faces. We got about five more minutes, so we are going to get started. Um, so I'm going to give you a rundown of what this morning is going to look like. It's about a 50-minute workout. We are working what I call my crazy hit. Um, it is one of my favorite ones. It is going to be comprised of four different rounds. So we're going to call each round a different thing. We're going to go through four rounds. Each round we are doing three times through. There's four exercises in each round, and we're going for 30 seconds a piece. So basically, you are going two minutes nonstop moving your body in the way of that exercise 30 minutes or 30 seconds at a time. After we get done with the first time through, we're going to do a second time. So another two minutes after we get a nice minute, 30 second break, guys, sorry, 30 second break to recover. Our third time through, we're going to add an extra minute at the end. So we're going to do an extra exercise for a minute. After we get done with all three times through with that extra minute, then we're going to move on to the next round. I do have a little bit of surprise for you in there, so we'll talk about that when we get there. We don't have to worry about it right now, um, but just think about working the full body. This is all body weight. You need absolutely no equipment, so just work how you should for that wonderful body. Get that movement in. We're going to focus on certain things during each round, and then we'll get through that round and move on to the next one. Are we guys, are we excited? Ready to rock and roll? We still got a couple more minutes. So I'm just going to wait, and then we will get started right at 9 o'clock. Um, video, you do not have to have it on if you do not want anyone to see you. You can go ahead and do the whole workout with no video on. You are going to stay muted the whole way through, so this is your time to do whatever you want in that background. So if you want that music, please put yourself on a playlist and rock that music out if it helps you work out, because we have no music on this side, just going to hear those timers. So every time the timer beeps, I'll let you know what we are doing for that next one. Get yourself ready. Make sure you have your water handy so you can drink whenever necessary and get ready for about 50 minutes of fun. So let's see what we got going on here. Awesome, perfect. Okay, we're looking good. Hi guys, yay. Okay, we got one more minute before we get started. So get yourself ready. There's actually going to be some changes happening June 1st. Um, I know my Colorado people especially, that's a big day for everything happening is gonna be June 1st. So we're gonna be making some switches for the rec center as well. So I'm gonna stick on the Zoom for a couple minutes afterwards in case anyone has any questions about the changes that are going to be happening. I'll give a quick little rundown of everything that I know after our workout's over. And then if you have any questions, I will go ahead and unmute you guys then. And you are more than welcome to ask those questions at the end. But for now, we're going to work out. Are we ready? Get excited because we are going to do this. Okay, warm up first. So bring it up and march it out. Get my stuff nice and close. Think about swinging that body around, just getting everything loose. We have six moves in our warm up that we are going to do, and we're going to get through it two times through. So, the first time, what I want you to focus on is just getting that movement in, getting that heart rate up and that body going. The second time through, I want you to focus on doing a little bit more, getting ready to rock and roll. We're start with just a basic jog. So, go ahead, swing those arms, get those legs moving. Just a nice little easy jog to start with. You can lift those knees up just a little higher if you want to. Right here, starting with a march. If this is where you need to be for that low impact, that is where I want you. Remember, warm up. We're not going all out. Just getting ready to rock this. Perfect. Keep it moving. Whole body is going. Now I want you to drive those heels all the way up to that booty. Kick yourself. Right there in that booty, get those arms swinging. That heart rate should be starting to come up. That breathing is accelerating a little bit. Moving that body a little bit bigger. 
Nice deep breaths. Arms are gone, legs are gone. Do not forget you're kicking yourself all the way in that booty. And those heels up there. Yes. Okay. Next up, you've got straight arm jacks. So open and close through those legs as you push those fists straight up into the air. Right here for that low impact. Still moving fast. Still getting that heart rate up. Just taking that impact out of it. That heart rate should be coming up now. I want you to think exhale as you push, inhale as you come back down in this move. Good, we're gonna get a little different movement pattern going next. Right now, I want you to do two shuffles and reach down into a little lunge. Two shuffles, reach towards that middle. Good, rotate through that body. Shuffle over, find yourself in a nice small lunge position, just reaching for that thigh, for your ankle, for the floor, but first, make sure you are working into that reach. Yes. Keep that chest lifted. That back is nice and flat. Next up, I want you to hit the floor. High plank position, step up, sink into those hips, and then step back right to the other side, holding that high plank the whole time. Think about opening up through those hips, getting that foot as close to the outside of your hand as you can. Tap it up just like that if you need to. Just high plank, hold that body tight. Hip flexors are working right here. Legs are working. Beautiful. Stand tall. Now I want you to find a squat and hop it. Stay low in that squat. Don't leave it right here. If you're taking that impact out, come up on those toes. I want you to feel this in the booty. Add that little hop, but stay low. I want those legs to start burning before we are done with this 30 seconds. After this one, we're starting all over again. Keep it low. Make those legs work right now. Yes. Right back to the job. Good. This time, I want you to think about getting those knees up higher, driving those arms through it, moving around. We got space wherever you're at at home. You can turn it into a little run. There's nothing wrong with that. We like our movement, not just always staying in one spot, but it's the second time through the warm up. So I want you to think faster, bigger. Everything is happening a little bit more. So you make sure that body is ready for the workout. But kick ass, drive those heels. Think about arms are swinging, body is moving. Heels all the way up to your booty every time. Low impact, high impact, second time through. Moving faster, getting more in it. Same thing here. You want to move? Move. There's nothing wrong with that. You've got space. Nobody's watching you. You're working out, getting everything done. Perfect. Straight arm jacks are next. You know, this is our third move in that warm up. Get through that second time. Bigger, better, faster. Can you move it just a little bit more? I want that heart rate to come up to your working level. This is where we're going to get it there. So focus, exhale up, inhale it down. Move as fast as you can. Good work. Almost done with this one. Right into that shuffle lunge. Two shuffles, sink down on that leg. Shuffle and sink. Good. What can you do on this to add more to it? Sink it down deeper. Reach for the floor. Move faster. Get into it. Make sure those legs are going to be ready for everything we're going to throw at them today. Keep breathing. Keep moving. Get that rotation in your body. Now, hit that high plank position. Here we go. Spider lunges. Step it forward. Switch. If you want more on this, hop it. You can add a little pulse to the other side or hop it the whole way through wherever you need to be. Remember, hands directly under the shoulders. That plank position never leaves. You get a little dip in that hip, but not a big one. Come on, we're almost done. Beautiful, last move, bring it up. Find that squat, hop it. Chest stays lifted. When we are sinking into that squat, you are not bending over. Those legs are your main workers. So sink into them, find that squat, and stay 
right there. No hop. It's not needed if you don't want it. Stay right here just like that. Come on. Last move for our warm up. Last three, two, almost there. Yeah, march it out. Woo! Grab a drink. Shake those legs out. First move is done. Like I said, four rounds we're gonna get through. Our first round is called the speed round. So it's all about moving fast. 30 seconds each exercise, four exercises total. After we are done with those, we will do them two more times through. Keep those feet moving. Do not stop. You got warm, we wanna stay that way. This is exactly how you do it. If your warm is right here, then stay right here, but do not let those feet stop moving. 25 more seconds until we get it. So this is recovery. Use this time. There's nothing wrong with keeping that heart rate a little bit high, but we are not all the way up there right now. We are starting with a high knee twist. 10 more seconds till we start. Three times through everything. So I want you to think, first time, get used to the movement. Second time, do it better. Third time, all out. So you're gonna start with high knees, and then I want you to add a twist. So not just right here. I want you to think about opposite hand. Twisting towards your opposite knee. Get that rotation right here for that low impact. Still moving, but your core is tight. Those knees drive up and then the body twists to meet it. 30 seconds, that's all it is. Remember, first time through, get used to that movement. Feel how your body works with it. Next step, legs wide, sink down. We're going diamond, jump. So jump high, aim those feet together. Arms come overhead. Take the impact out, sink it down. Reach it up on those toes as well. Woo. Squat, that's what I want you to think. Find that beautiful diamond position. This one is not about fat speed as much as it is about power. So sink into those legs. Drive them up, yes. Woo. Next one, we got a forward shuffle, four forward. Squat, now put those arms up, four back. Squat, four forward. Arms up, squat, four back. Not a hard movement. I want you to think about moving forward. Sink into those legs every time. Arms come up as you're moving. That's gonna drive that heart rate even higher. So make sure you put them up every single time that body is moving. Put them down to the floor when you're squatting. Woo! Almost there. Last one, we've got a ski jump to a vertical jump. One over, one up. Nice and simple, look at those arms. They help lead that movement. Stepping it, just like that. Arms are still working. One big hop over, either both feet or one foot at a time, and then reach or jump up. This is your last 30 seconds before we get a break. Come on, use those arms, provide that momentum to drive that body. Three, two, rest. Nice work, march it out, grab a drink. 30 seconds. Number two, same thing. Two more times through. Second time, better than the first. Get that heart rate back down. Do not forget to get rehydrated. Keep those feet moving. And remember, you've seen these ones. So now you figure how you're gonna do them bigger and better. Second time's always better. Five more seconds. High knee twist, start us off. Get ready. Let's do it. Find that position, remember. That movement is what you are thinking about. Those knees coming up. When I lift, I want to see my knee at least to that hip height. That twist, that's just a little extra for those obliques. It means you're getting those abs extra involved with adding that twist across the body. Where you take it is where you need to be. This is your Saturday morning workout. You are stepping it just like that, that's fine. You're adding that beautiful hop, do it. Nothing wrong with either, however you need to be. Take those feet wide, sink it down. Damn it! Good, you know this move. Now I want you to concentrate on what you want to get out of it. Is it an explosive move? Sink deep into that squat and push off the floor. When you're landing, land softly right back into those legs. Is it speed? Are you moving as fast as you can? This is yours. What you want to do with it right here, come on. Sink it down, hop it out, reach it for that low impact. Shuffles, arms up, four forward, squat, four back, squat. Good. Make sure when you're doing this, you are not leaning over. Those legs sink into a beautiful squat. Reach overhead. Small little movement. 
You do not have to take up the whole room. Just four forward with those arms up, squat it down. Four back, sink it back. Come on, so close. Yes, last but not least, we got that ski jump. We've got a vertical. Woo. Yes, add distance, add speed, add whatever you can to make this a little bit more intense. That's what it's about, right? Second time's better. So try to go a little further on that jump, a little higher on the vertical or move faster. Do not forget those arms. They are so useful. Use them. Last three, two, and yes. Woo -hoo. Yes. Third time's the best time. Grab a drink, heart rate back down. Nice deep breaths in your nose, out your mouth. Get yourself rehydrated, get it ready minute on the end so after that first move, fourth move i'm going to show you what we're doing do not stop moving two minutes plus an extra minute at the end four moves we know one coming at us get ready last time through high knee twist start us going right yeah let's do it come on you got 30 seconds to recover this is your all out the last time you get to do these moves think about it you want to stop you're tired I don't care, you don't care. You know you can push through 30 seconds. Do it right now. Do not let yourself give up through these 30 second bursts. <sighs> Remember, take it down a notch if you need to. I got no problems with that, but do not stop moving. Come on, last time through. And switch it over, take those feet out wide. Take it down. Whew. Good. Remember your goals here. What do you wanna do? That explosive power, that's going to drive that muscle mass as hard as you can. Pushing it. Speed is getting that heart rate up even higher. Think about what you want out of it and accomplish. Come on, this is one of my favorite moves. Sink, pop, whoo. Doesn't have to be fast, but it definitely works. Come on, last time. There it is, shuffle it forward, arms up. Squat it down, shuffle it back. Good. Such a simple movement right here. It's amazing how much it does. What I want you to focus on is tiny little steps, getting there as quick as you can, making sure those arms are up overhead every time in between. Sink into those legs every time. Yes, you guys look great. Come on. Five more seconds. We'll finish out this last one. There we go, ski jump, vertical jump. Good, watch. My legs, do you see I never come up fully to standing? Use those legs, land soft, explode. Everything, toe ball, heel, into that squat. Push off those toes to drive yourself to the top. Come on, 10 more seconds before we get into our last power. One more minute to finish this round off. Come on, speed. Yes, here we go. Our minute right here, full burpee with a tuck jump. Down, add that push up. Come up, tuck it right there, land it softly. Right back down to it, burpee, push up, up, tuck jump, step if you need to. Take it down to those knees for the push up. When you take it up, one knee can come in at a time. Think about everything that you have as options here. Use them, love burpees, because they are literally one of the best exercises for you. Halfway through, come on, 30 more seconds. Don't you quit on me, we're not done. Come on, you got more, more burpees than you. Woo. That wonderful sound just means that you are that much closer. Come on, 15 more seconds. Feel those burpees. Don't forget that push-up. Knees or toes, I don't care. Drop it down, inhale, push-up, exhale. Come up and add that beautiful tuck jump or two knees. Five more seconds. Yes. And done. Woo. Take a break. We get a minute to recover. Oh, I only did about four burpees and my heart rate is through the roof. So I know you guys are feeling good right now. Grab yourself a drink, take it down. We're switching gears right here. Our next round is focused more on strength. So we're gonna use our body weight to drive those muscles. This one is a lot of upper body, a lot of shoulders. So I want you to feel it, see where it's working and making sure you like it. We're gonna start with legs because 
you know, why not? We love the legs. But you're gonna notice we got three pretty much upper body moves in a row after this one. So get ready for it. We got 10 more seconds. Our first move is a pulsing lunge jump. So what that means is you're gonna step back, you're gonna sink it one, two, and then explode. One, two, explode to the other side. Take the jump out. One, two, pulse. Oh, guess what? That's our start. Here we go. Take it down. Two pulses, switch it out. That lunge jump. I want you to focus on form over everything. Like I said, you got three times here to do it. You are pulsing. That knee is driving right down to the floor, and then you're switching. Take it to a hop step or a step completely, however you need to, but pulse it down one, two, and then switch. One, two, switch. Yes. Come on, finish it out. Like I said, everybody is coming right now. Find that plank position. Step arm and leg out wide, do a push up and step it together. Out wide, push up and together. Same thing from those knees. Arms come wide, knees stay down. Do a push up and bring it back together. Step out the opposite. Woo. Make sure those arms are coming nice and wide. Sink it down, whole body comes down as one. Push away, big exhale every time. Come on, wherever you need to be. Yes. Next one, I want you to find yourself in a low plank position. Elbows underneath those shoulders and one leg. It's just raising at a time. That's all we're doing. Holding plank and kicking that foot out. Same thing from those knees. Finding that beautiful plank position. Make sure that you are not losing that plank. Hips are not dragging. They are not hiked. Nice and tight right here. Lift. Squeeze through that booty. Not a big movement. Oh, you're going to love this last one. Get it ready. Bring it up. B push up. Booty's high. Hands are low. Top of the head coming down. Push away. Big exhale. Good. The more of a V you have, the more this is going to be harder on the shoulders. So if you need a little bit less, then come out a little bit longer and a smaller movement. If you want it all, right here. I want you to aim the crown of that head for the floor. Come on. Three more seconds. Big push. Yes. Rest. Whoo. Take out those arms. Oh, see, I wasn't lying when I said we got a lot of upper body going on in this one. Shake it, because you know you get to do it two more times through. Grab a drink. Love that recovery, because that's exactly what I want you to feel right now. Heart rate comes down. We got 10 more seconds, so we start this over. Legs are going to begin us with those pulsing lunge jumps, and then we're going right to that upper body. You ready? Set. And here we go. Drop it. And pop it. Two pulses at the bottom. Switch it at the top. Remember, step it. I don't care. What matters is that that knee is staying behind those toes. You are trying to find 90 degrees in both legs. You are feeling that booty on the front leg, that quad on the back, and then you're just switching it out. Come on. You got this. You know it. Better the second time than the first. And guess what? Moving push-ups. High plank position, step out, foot and hand, take it down, step it together. Opposite direction, going left with both, going left with both. Right, down, up, and right. Same thing on those knees. Yes, good. Full range of motion, love push-ups. They work so many wonderful things in that body. Think about that movement the whole way through, wide for those wonderful shoulders. Here we go, low plank position. Find it. If you need to stop right here for a second, do it, that is fine. Engage everything in that plank. Then add that leg lift. Woo. And when this is said lift, it does not mean lift. I don't want you to swing that leg up as much as possible. Push towards the opposite side of the room. Squeeze that booty. Hold everything tight. Woo. Yes, heart rate is still high. We may be low, but it is working hard right now. Yes, you know what to do. Come up. V position with that body. Aim the top of that head towards the floor and bring it down. Big exhale to push yourself away. This move is not an easy one. In this 30 seconds, I feel good if I've gotten five or six in. Full range. I feel my shoulders every time. It burns. Push for a little bit more than you got last time. Feel those shoulders. You are almost there. Three. Two and rest. Woo! Second time through. Look at that. Shake those arms out. 
Oh my goodness, one more time. And then we are done with our strength rounds. Oh, but don't forget, we got an extra minute at the end. You're gonna love that one. Get the heart rate back down. Think about how am I going to finish this round off? I want it to be my best. Take a nice deep breath. Think about those pulsing lunge jumps. All you got is 30 seconds more of And they start right now. Here we go. Yes. Third time. Yes, we say best time, but it's also your hardest time. Those muscles have worked so hard already. This is where you have to dig and say, I know all I have left is 30 seconds. Finish out that 30 seconds and you don't have to see that exercise again. Do not quit. This is the reason that you're here, to push yourself a little bit farther, to make it happen a little bit more. We love push up, get that high plank position. Step out, push it up, step in. Whoo, yes. Good, if you were hitting all of those from your toes before and you need to drop down to those knees, do it. That's fine, exactly how you need to be. Sink it down and switch it. Do not quit moving. Come on, love those push-ups because the more you do them, the more they love you. So close, nothing wrong with me. As long as you're not stopping, find that low plank position, hold it tight and then add that beautiful leg lift. Good, remember, elbows underneath the shoulders. You are not up here, you are not over here. Find that beautiful position, that is what is important. Small little leg lift, That's all you gotta do. Squeeze through that booty. It is amazing how still we can be and how hard that heart is working for us. Hold tight, keep breathing through it. Yes, last one, the position. Set yourself up, here we go. Aim the top of the head towards that floor. Try to get your V as much as possible. Think shoulders. You're hitting all sides of those wonderful shoulders right there. Getting those traps involved as well. Love them. Woo. Come on, this is our last move before our, our power minute that is coming. Finish one more good push up. Yes, stand tall. Bring it with me. We're gonna inchworm into a tricep push up. Walk it out. Find that beautiful plank with those hands narrow and your elbows towards the sides of your body. Push up, walk up and stand. Same thing if you need to from those knees. Drop the knees down when you get out. Make sure you are focused on those triceps. The closer you keep your elbows to the side of the body, the more you're working the back side of the arms. Don't let them come out wide. Keep them tucked. Try to get it. That's halfway. That means 30 more seconds. Come on. No quitting. Yes, keep breathing. Legs stay nice and straight. We're getting a little bit of the bottom as well, plus that core. But I want you to focus. Arms right here. Beautiful push-ups. All concentrated on those triceps. 10 more seconds. You are so close. Whew, come on. You got two more right here. Finish it. Oh. Walk it out. Shake those arms. Strength round. It's done. It's over. We're moving on to agility. Getting those movement patterns in different ways. Whew. Shake those arms. I know they're feeling them. How are we feeling? Great. Good. We can do round two again if you want to. I have no problems with that one. Push-ups are like the greatest things in the world. Get rehydrated. I want this one to bring your heart rate back up. That agility, all that movement, I want you to think. It's about speed, yes, but finding that movement pattern working for your body. So same thing. We've got four moves, one, two, and three times through. This is whew, going to be a fun one. 15 more seconds until we get started. Our first move is called the soccer juggle. So I want you to think knee, knee, ankle, ankle. This is your movement right here. Everything you're doing, when you get this down, I want you to add some speed to it. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Feel that motion. Once you're ready, add more to it. You can go with a hop or straight out. But your goal is to hit both of your knees on the top and both of those ankles on the inside. Feel those hip flexors open up. I don't care how you do it. Add that hop, do it in a step. It does not matter. What matters is you get that full range of motion. Beautiful, next one. We've got double Heisman, two shuffle and a knee. Pull it in, 
crunch those abs. Two shuffles, inside knee comes up, opposite arm reaches to it, right there. Don't think about just speed here, moving as fast as you can. Think about that crunch. I want to see that Heisman position every time. Single leg, squat a little bit, add that core. Bring your opposite elbow to your knees. Moving fast. Ooh, come on. Yes, good feet. Right here. Find those beautiful feet. Move it, shake it. Everything jiggles. We're going reaction here. So when I say move left, you move left. When I say move right, you move right. We're going forward. Ooh, we're going back. How about a turn left? Yes. Right back to the middle. Turn right. Come on, all those weak feet moving as fast as you can. Turn center. Get them going. Get them. Come on. Almost there. Forward. Back. Yes. Moving skaters. Our last one. One skater forward. Another forward. We got one back and another back. Starting on whichever leg works for you. But I want you to form a zigzag. Skater. 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 Two forward. Two back. Legs are working. Same thing here, you find that beautiful single leg squat. You stop yourself, find that angle. Get it done, three more seconds. Yes, and rest. Woo! You guys are absolutely killing it. Nice work, that was one. You know what to do. Heart rate comes down, breathing is your focus. Getting a little drink of water, getting ready to do it better second time through. Keep those feet going and think, second better than the first. I like to switch my lead leg on this one to work my agility even better. So this time, we're starting right here. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Let's go. Knee, knee, ankle, ankle. Bring it with me. Come on. Try to switch off just to see if it works that body a different way. I know that I can always start everything on my right side because that's what I always do. But trying to push things to my left side, it's an amazing thing. It makes me feel like I'm starting brand new again. And I love it because my body wants to be even. It wants to have everything done full way. Double Heisman's, two shuffles, one big knee and twist. Yes, remember, this is not right here. We can do this all day long, but I want to see that beautiful movement, that crunch every time, that twist. Bring that opposite elbow to your knee, twist it out, feel it. Love it, and then add some more speed to it. Get going more, second time. Come on. Yes, almost. Yes, yes. Give me those quick feet. Can we drop a little bit lower? Come on, I want those feet to move as fast as you possibly can. Turn right. Beautiful, turn center. Move forward. Yes, turn left. You got this, turn center. Move back. A little lower, a little faster. Come on, move left. Yes, move right. Beautiful, a little lower. Come on, forward. Yes, here we go, moving skaters. Try again to that other side. Make that opposite leg lead you to begin with. Two up, two back. You should be able to focus on catching your breath a little bit during this one, but I want you not to let it come down. Move that body fast. Find that single leg squat every single time. Come on. Two up, two back. Then all we have to do is rest to do it all over again. Three more seconds. Last two. And rest. Woo! Oh, are you guys feeling as good as I am right now? Oh, you guys are looking amazing. Two down, one more to go. Get yourself a drink. Get ready, rocking it out. Four moves, one minute at the end. Finishing this wonderful agility, nice and strong. Get it ready, get it set, let's go. Soccer jumps, here we go. Yes, remember that movement pattern is what you are focused on. The speed, that comes with it. Your mind is working as well as your muscles. That's one of the reasons that we love this one. It is not a bad thing to make both work together. That mind-muscle connection is a wonderful thing. It's your last time. Come on, make it the best one right here. So close. Yes, double Heisman's, two shuffles, one big knee. Yes, bring that knee all the way up. Bring that elbow all the way across. Come on, third time. This move can be as easy or as hard as you make it. You make the 
decision. What do you want to do? Saturday morning, no reason to slack right here. Come on. Yes. Almost there. Beautiful. Get those moves. Keep moving as fast as you can. Hold tight right here. Sink it lower. A little bit wider with those legs. Can you feel it? Is everything jiggling? It should be. That's a good thing. Feel it. Move it. Now move forward. Woo. Turn right. Yes. Forward. And turn left. Come on. Are they still moving? Don't let them stop. Bring it forward. Woo. Move back. Good. Move forward. Move back. Take it up. Finish it up. Moving skaters. Pick that leg. Whatever you want to start with. Last 30 seconds of this agility right here. 30 seconds before we power it out. Do not stop. 30 seconds. You can do this. I know you can. You need to know you can. Push yourself to your limit. There is no reason not to. Fully capable. You got this. 10 more seconds. Yes. Come on. Last minute is coming for us. And three more seconds. Watch me. Here we go. Two shuffles and a half burpee. That's all I want from you. Stay low. Two shuffles, half burpee. What you do not get to do is come up out of that squat. What you can do is slow it down. Walk it out, step it out, but you are never standing. You are in those legs the whole minute through. The break that you get is in that burpee. Isn't that amazing? Stay low into it. Do not come up, come on. Not a big movement, halfway through. That is 30 seconds, come on. No quitting. Those legs should be on fire right now. Sink low into them. Do not come up out of them. Every shuffle you make, it is sending that work through your quads, your glutes, your hammies. Last 10 seconds. Come on, remember, step out that burp if you need to. No push-up required, we already did those. Take it down, take it out, take it in. Stay low. Almost there, finish it. Yes. Take a walk. You guys did great. Like I said, we have a little surprise coming our way. This is going to be my favorite part right here because, you know, we always want to do a little bit more. So get that heart rate back down. We get a full minute to prep right here. Get yourself a drink and I will let you know what the surprise is. We are going to take three of our moves that we've already done and we're going to do them again. Three in a row for a minute each single one. So three minutes nonstop, trying to get that body to stay moving the whole time and not quit through it. We've got 15 more seconds left. So get that recovery in and listen to me because this is exactly what we're going to do. That forward backward shuffle, arms up in the middle, squat down at both sides. Three, That's where we're two, starting. one, Here we go. new exercise for one minute. Shuffle, stick it down. Come on, this is about movement. And guess what? If you want more, I will always give you more. Shuffle, sink, add a jump to it. Sink it low, arms come up, sink it, jump it. What? It's amazing what you can do, what you need for that body. That's where I want you to be. If that jump does not work for you, don't do it. Keep it at the shuffle squat. If you love that jump, love it and do it as much as possible. If you don't like a jump and you'd rather do a tuck, tuck it. I don't know anybody that loves tuck jumps, but you may go ahead. There's nothing wrong with it. Keep those arms up while you're moving. Sink them down while you're squatting. Add that jump if you want to. Come on, 15 more seconds. Woo! Remember, if you need a break, then move that body a little bit slower. Take it right here. There's nothing wrong with that. Still moving, but I do not want you to stop. Three. Oh, what? One. one. New exercise for one minute. One jump right here. Whew. Remember, I said there's always ways to add more. If you want more, I want you to stay here. Five, four, three, two, and then switch. Five, four, three, two, and switch. Holy moly. Whatever those legs need to do right now, that's what I want you to think. By the time you do that fifth one, that jump should be the hardest thing you have ever done to switch over. Think into those legs. Do not, whew, oh my goodness, quit on this one. Those big muscle groups right there. Those legs want to work hard for you. Pick your level. Step it, pulse it. Two, you can pulse it for five. You can pulse it for three. I don't care. 
I care about you moving and making sure your form is still good. Keep it right there, because you are five seconds away from switching. Oh, those legs are feeling Three, great. Two, Almost there. one, yes. new exercise for one minute. One. We're going double high schools. Right here, moving through those legs. They should be feeling great right now. Do you want extra in this? Instead of a knee, add a kick. Yes. Still getting that crunch through the abs. Still getting that twist across the body. Just lengthening that lever length. All that does is make you work a little bit harder, which drives that heart rate up, makes those muscles work more. However you need to be, guess what? You got 30 more seconds until we rest. No stopping. 30 seconds right here. Yes. Come on. I'm sweating. You should be sweaty. Moving hard. Almost there. Two big shuffles. One big kick or knee across our body. Wherever you need to be. 10 more seconds. Finish it strong. Good. You are so close to the end. Do not quit. Right here. Last three. Three. Yes. Two. One. Time to finish. Nice work. Oh, a little extra push never hurt anybody, right? Nothing wrong with that and a little extra. Okay, our minute right now is all about recovery because we have one more round to go and the whole round is core. So we're going to be down on the ground, strengthening the middle of that body. Make sure before you come down, that heart rate comes down. Never lay on your back until you are ready to get there. Take it down to those knees, take some nice deep breaths, and think about switching gears. Whew. Three rounds done and over with. Extra push, we got that in. Now I want you to focus on the wonderful middle of that body. The best thing in the world to make strong right here. So let's get it done right. 10 more seconds, bring it down, get yourself set. We're starting with an A-frame twist. So dig those heels in and I want you to round out those abs. Find a little C position. Take your arms up, point those hands to the sky, reach back, elbow towards the side of that body, twisting both ways. Ooh, not a big movement, Ooh, not a whole lot of movement actually, because I do not want this part of your body to move. All you're doing is twisting and reaching that elbow in. If you need a little bit less, then right here, take that back up a little bit higher, Ooh, however you need it to be. Come on, feel that twist, take it nice and slow. And now flip over. Low plank position. We know that. We already did it. Elbows on the ground. Now I'm going to make it even harder. Reach and touch your toe. What? Right here. That booty's going to come up a little bit. I want you to reach and touch your opposite toe. If that does not work for you, you can take it down. Reach across that body right here. You're still getting that instability, but I want you to find that plank in the middle. Come up and then come right back down. Yes. Come on. Let's do this. Hold it tight, flip it over. Back again, we're coming up into a V up. Bring those knees in towards your chest. Then I want you to push those legs out and bring it back up. Push those legs away from you, reach out. If you can, do not let your arms or legs touch down. If you need to, take that break. Take a seat, bring that knee in and push one away. Push the other, come back down, just like that. I don't know why, but that push is so absolutely wonderful. Reach it. Now flip. We're going to finish with some swimmers. So bring it down to the belly. Arms are straight up. Squeeze those legs nice and high. And then all I want you to do is swim it away. Keep those eyes down. Booty is tight. Legs are moving. Arms are up overhead. They are moving as well. Breathe through it and just swim. Feel that lower back strengthening. Feel that upper back working with those arms. Booty with the legs. Five more seconds. Finish it out right here. And rest. Nice. That was all four of your moves right there. Whew. Two more times through. Let's finish this core out right. Think about it. This four exercises right here, we're getting 360. We're hitting those obliques, upper abs, abs, lower abs, and lower back. So focus on which one you are hitting every single time. Take it slow and know core is not meant to go fast. Starting with those A-frame twists. Put those legs out long. End of that round. Here we go. Arms up. Exhale as you bring that elbow towards your hip. Find yourself nice and tall at the top. But look, my body is not coming up and down to this. I am holding tight in that position. 
My arms are what is moving. Focus on right there. Feel those obliques every time you twist. Bring that elbow in. Good. Come on. You got this. Woo. Guess what? We're flipping it over. That low plank position right here. Find it and then add that tap. Bring in your hand to your foot. If where you need to be is right here, hold a 30 second plank. There is nothing wrong with that. You are working so hard. If you feel like you're wiggling too much, those hips are moving, that booty's coming up, then take that part out of it. If you want to, you can just add a little tap in with the toe, just like that. So many different ways to do this. Find the one that you like. Flip it over again. You're going back and forth, part of that core right here. Bring it in, push those legs away from you. Bring it in, push. Feel that push, it's amazing. What it does, if you need to, when you push out, then take it right here. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to come all the way down. You're still feeling that core work hard. Your level, push yourself to the max all the way through. Come on, you got this. Flip it over. Find your position on your stomach. Reach those arms out long. Squeeze that booty. Start swinging them. Whew, just like you're swimming through the water. Everything holds on tight. Think about keeping yourself up out of that water. You are lifting your chest as high as you can. You're squeezing your booty. You should almost be making a U with the reverse side of your body. Do not let that head come up. I want you to look straight towards the floor. You're lifting. You're relaxing because you are done with that one. Hoo -hoo. Good work. Hit that child's pose if you need to. Take a nice little stretch because guess what? We've only got one more time to go. Add on our power for a minute at the end and then it will be complete. This one, I don't want you to think about going faster. What I want you to think about is going better. Slow it down. Feel every rotation, feel every crunch, every movement. This is it right here. 30 more seconds of each. Find it tall, reach it back. Remember, we are not rushing this. What you can do is you can add an extra twist right here. You can feel that oblique squeeze even that much harder. Reach it up and twist it out. Just the slower I go on my core, the more my core feels it. The better I feel the day after. When I wake up and stretch in the morning and I'm like, oh, I'm like, yeah, I remember what that was from. Come on, last time through. There it is, flip it over. Low plank position, you know. Find it right here. Add whatever you need to add. Toe tap in, reach across. Ooh. Try to reach for that toe. Remember that those hips come up as you reach, but do not leave them up there. Find that plank right there in between every single time. Last time through. You may hate it, but it's doing you some good, so do not quit. Almost there. Yes. Here we go. Flip on that back, you know. Bring it up. Knees come in. Push them away. Oh, use your body to add some extra to it. It's amazing because we love our Rios, right? We can bring it in and out all day long, just like that. For some reason, add that push. It adds that much more. So find that level. Yes. Oh, those abs should be screaming at you right now. Come on, three more seconds. No quitting. So close. Over. Let's do this. Swimmer, last time through. Position first, and then add the wonderful movement through those arms and legs. That booty isn't squeezed as tight as you can get it. Are you lifting through that chest? Can you feel your shoulder blades squeezing together? Focus on what you are doing. Make it work. 10 seconds left. Come on. One minute after this, and then we are finished. Yes, last five seconds of swimmers. Beautiful, bring it up, watch me. Here's our last move. Side plank position, knees coming in. Right here, push it out long, bring it in. We're going 30 seconds on each side. If you need to, put that bottom knee down. Still, same movement. Trying to keep that top leg up. Try not to move anything else. Hip stays high, that's 15 seconds in. We got 15 more before we switch. Feel that crunch right here. Feel that bottom oblique, knee down, foot down. It does not matter. You should still be able to feel it, elbow right underneath shoulder. Guess what time it is? Halfway through. Flip it over, come on, last 30 seconds. Find it, and then add that knee drive. This is it right here, your last little bit. 20 seconds to go before this workout is complete and you can give yourself a little pat on the back. Until then, 
You've got 10 more seconds to work hard. Do not quit on me. Come on. Big crunch. Exhale as it's coming out. Yes. Three more seconds. Get another one in. Flip it over to those knees. Give me a nice child's pose right here. Guess what? You made it. You are finished. Feel that beautiful stretch and then round your back. Bring yourself up to those knees. Let's grab a drink Whew. and stick around with me, please. We're gonna get a little stretch in before we get out of here. Make sure that heart rate's down. I know we finished with core, but those side planks are not easy. So slowly bring yourself off that mat, off the floor, all the way up to standing. Whew. We're gonna start. Grab a hold of that right ankle. Pull those knees nice and close together. Good, think about pushing through that front hip, stretching out that quad. Find your balance. For some reason, my finger on my nose helps a lot with this one. Whatever you need to do. And release, dig that same heel into the floor. Sink back into those hips. If you want a little bit extra, you can reach for those toes. Beautiful, good. Use this time to reward yourself. You worked so hard. You deserve this. Round the back. Roll yourself up to the top. Bring that foot back in. Let's go right to the other side. Whew. Perfect. Feel that wonderful stretch. And release. Dig in that heel. Sink into those legs. Add that extra reach if you want a little bit more. Perfect. Release round that back. Roll yourself all the way to the top. We'll take those feet out nice and wide and let's just lunge it down side to side. Good. Aim that booty back. Feel that stretch on the inner thigh. Perfect. We're going to hold this over to the right side. Sink it down nice and deep. Just put those hands on the thighs, on the floor, wherever you need them to be. We are turning into that leg find a nice deep runner's lunge push those hips towards the ground plant that inside hand and then add a reach with the arm and turn towards that front knee perfect good bring that hand back towards the ground and we're going to step in Ooh, straighten everything out and roll up bring it right back to the front let's hit that lunge one more time we're going to get the left side this time sink it down and hold tight on that opposite side. Perfect, so let's rotate that whole body. Runner's lunge, plant that inside hand. Think about pushing that hip all the way to the floor. And then as your rotation, look up towards that hand. Perfect, bring that hand back down. Back foot comes in, round that back all the way to the top. Beautiful. Right back to center. We're gonna go to that upper body. Bring that right arm across. Pull gently above or below those elbows. Feel free for more BF push-ups. If you guys want some more of those, I know you loved them. Release, take that same arm up overhead. Get those triceps. Oh yeah, remember those tricep push-ups as well. Add a little extra lean. Get those obliques stretched out. Perfect, bring it to the top and release. Let's go right to the other side. Left arm comes across. Feel that stretch through the shoulder. Make sure that shoulder is not up towards your ear. You're pushing it down. You feel that stretch across. Yes, release and take it up overhead. Get those triceps. Add that extra lean, feel it in those obliques. Perfect, bring it back to the top. Let those arms come down. Bring those feet out nice and wide. We're gonna finish with our inhales right here. Good, one more time. Big inhale up. Big exhale down. Nice work today, guys. You are finished. Like I said, we have a couple changes going on. Um, hi, guys. Um, for next month. So I just wanted you guys to be aware um, that we are reopening the rec center come June 1st 
at a smaller capacity. We have a bunch of FAQs on the website, so please visit. That also means that with our facilities opening up, we do want to continue on with virtual training, um, but we're going to do it for paid for from now on. So it's going to be either $10 a week or $30. We're done finished. So um, I just wanted everyone to be aware that this is happening come June 1st. You have access to everything up until that point for completely for free. Everything that's been put on YouTube is going to be completely for free. But starting June 1st, everything is going to turn into a paid for. I can answer any questions that you guys may have right now. Or like I said, our website has a bunch of information on the FAQ. Um, reach out to me if you need to or go ahead and type it. I was going to let you guys actually unmute in case anybody has any questions. Um, oh, never mind. I can let you guys unmute if you have any questions or you can type it in. Um, if not, like I said, reach out to me if you need to. Go to the page. Thanks, guys. Um, check it out. Email me if you'd like to. Hey, Kathy. There is going to be another class in here. So if you guys don't have another question or have any questions, then I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. I will see you in a week for another exciting round of hit. Bye, guys.